Hey guys, welcome to this video and my channel. My name is Heather. I am the owner and creator here at Wicked Whiskey Designs. And today it is all about being expensive, difficult, and talking back because yes, we do. And this is just a super, super fun cup to make. It's just a simple Milky Way style swirl and some layering of vinyl. And there's just so much you can do with this particular technique. This is easy, it's fun, and trust me, if I can do this, anybody can do this. If you are interested in any of the products that I use to make this cup, everything that I've used is linked down below in the description box so that you can go ahead and use the exact same things if you're interested. There's also probably gonna be a coupon code or two down there to help you save a little bit of money. And if you're new to this channel, please consider liking and subscribing. You know, I'm putting out content weekly. I am a relatively new channel, but I'm definitely trying to do two videos a week. So you definitely wanna get notified of when those videos drop because sometimes my schedule gets a little wonky. So definitely subscribe so that you're notified of whenever there's new content and do not leave without checking out the tips and tricks section at the end of this video. That's where I share with you all of my tips and tricks that I've learned along the way to make this cup as easy and as perfect as possible the first time around. It's a little more chill. I have a tendency to ramble sometimes, but it's still a lot of good information. And definitely, if I've made all the mistakes, I'm here to tell you how you don't have to make them. So definitely check out that section. I think that pretty much takes care of this intro. I'm going to go ahead and get started, show you everything you need to make this cut. So let's go have some fun. Hey guys, so what are we working on today? Okay, so I want to do something fun. Um, you know, there's those days you wake up and you're just kind of like, I'm going to do this, 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 this. And then you wake up and you're just like, <sighs> my whole entire life's out of control. <laughs> Nothing's going right. This is not the plan. You know, you have a, a, a one-year-old feral puppy who doesn't understand that 6 a.m. on a Monday morning is not the appropriate time to wake mommy up to take her outside. Um, that's where I'm at. That's where the mood started going sideways. Blame Lola. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're just going to do something fun. You know, I started, if you check on the community page for the Wicked Whiskey Design YouTube channel, there's a, a community tab there. And that's normally where I keep all of my Amazon links, like my little fake Amazon storefront, if you will. I also add little, I also post questions there. If that's like the easiest way for me to shoot a, a question out to all of my little, you know, YouTube family here. And the last thing I added on there was, hey, what do you want to see next week for tutorials? Do you want to do like, you know, a rainbow gypsy leopard? Because I want to do a gypsy leopard like that. Um, do you want to do like some, some rainbow foil? Like, you know, what are we doing here? And a lot of people are like, yes, we want to see this. Yes, we want to see this. And then my girls are all like, okay, we don't want a rainbow. We're done with rainbows right now. We don't want rainbows. We want beach tumblers, chick. Beach tumblers. So we are going to do beach tumblers. Like the next two, maybe three tutorials even, you know, might just roll them all together and just beach out. But it's Monday morning. Heather's already feeling some kind of way. So we're just going to make something pretty because I control pretty. Okay. I can't control anything else. I can't control my dog or the bills or whatever. But I can control pretty, so that's what we're going to do. I think, I saw this um, SVG on Etsy, I laughed, I laughed, because I was like, look, there I am. So we're going to put a little, um, uh, we're going to work with that, it's, what's it say, expensive, difficult, and talks back. And while I may not always be expensive, ask my husband, Lord knows, difficult, talk back sure does apply. So we're going to do that. Um, I want to go ahead and I'm thinking, I got like candy, raspberry in my head maybe some purple maybe a little yellow for contrast some hot coral i don't know we're just going to make something awesome we're going to put leopard print i'm getting my damn leopard print on there um we're just going to make something fun and cute so that's what we're doing today it's going to be somewhat in a swirl pattern we're going to have leopard we're going to have really bright colors not a rainbow girls not a rainbow okay um and we're just going to go ahead and have fun so that's what we're doing today You ever wake up and have one of those days where you immediately don't like anything? Absolutely anything. Like maybe your dogs woke you up early or maybe you just are in a mood or whatever and the idea that you had for your cup yesterday that was amazing, today, 
that so much. Well, that's where we're at today. So yesterday we were going to do an electric purple to a um, candy raspberry to like a hot coral, which honestly, I spray painted the cup. It was gonna look beautiful. Like honestly, it's a great combination. If you're looking for something that's just absolute fire, that would be it. <sighs> that's not what we wanna do today. I woke up in a mood and I just don't like anything. I don't like anybody, anything, any color. I have over 700 glitter colors. I don't like any of them. Okay, that's where we're at with things today. So I've, um, I kind of had to sit there. I had to take myself to school for a minute. I really did. I was like, do you go, you're gonna do something else neon? You're gonna do another neon? Why are you doing another neon? Do you have over 700 glitter colors? Do you think you could do something other than neon? I had to like take myself down, tell myself go sit down for a minute. Um, but I'm not wrong. Like honestly, my two, like my vibes are either dark and broody or neon rainbow. So. I do um, have a ton of cups, obviously, at the store and that I've done over the years, obviously, every shade and color combination imaginable, I feel, sometimes. But those are kind of like my go-tos because it's what I like. It's what I enjoy. So um, mean Heather, yelling at nice-ish Heather, was not wrong in that, like, I do. You, and I think it's human nature. We all kind of, like, have our favorite colors and our favorite looks. And I think that we kind of, you know, people, I'm not even going to say that. I'll say Mia because I, I don't want to speak for anybody else. But I do. I, I find myself pulling like the same, the same glitters or doing the same kind of idea or the same vibe. And I was like, okay, uh, you know, that's not what we want to do right now. So, um, yeah, like, so I went ahead and I like completely like deconstructed everything. And, and now we're going in a different direction and I'm happy with it. Now, my design elements for this cup are going to stay the same. Um, I know I'm putting leopard print on this. I'm putting black leopard print on this. So I can't do my colors very dark or else that leopard, that leopard print is not going to show up. So with that in mind, I, I did pick a whole new span of colors and doing something totally different. But I will say, like, you know, here's your public service announcement for this video. Like, take a minute sometimes and, like, kind of, you know, take your own self to school on that one. Do you pick the same colors? Do you pick the same, you know, vibe every time? Do you really mix it up? Um, not even exaggerating when I say I have over 700 glitter colors. So, you know, I have choices. I have many choices. Go in a different direction. For example, I don't like the color coral. I never have. I hate the color coral. But I had a customer ask me for a set of cups using coral primarily in there, and they came out freaking beautiful, you know, based on what she was asking for and the color combinations that I used with it and whatnot. So if you find yourself in a rut, change your colors um you know i am somebody who does not purposely try to look at other tumblr makers work um the last thing anybody wants to do is see something and then be like you know jack that and be like oh look what i did all by myself and meanwhile you know you took you know you you took the design the colors to everything from somebody else and you didn't even put your own spin on things um i find that if i if i'm stuck all my ideas normally start with colors my design ideas almost always start with colors versus a design so for me interesting color combinations it what is what hits me if i am out and say i'm you know i'm stuck and i don't know what to do and i'm gonna go look at other people's tumblers i find myself if i find something that i really like like they did an amazing job on something i find i'm stuck on the things that I like. So even if I'm gonna go and do like my own cup, my own twist on what their design idea was, I find that I will still somehow be kind of stuck on what they did because you're drawn to what you like and you like that for a reason. Um, so for myself, I don't look at other, purposely go out and look at other Tumblr makers, Tumblrs for inspiration if I get stuck on something. If I get stuck, I will go look at, you know, something completely random and different like, you know, carpet designs or you know abstract you know images or whatever for color combinations and then that will usually you know get me out of my funk which is where I am today so I am gonna go ahead I'm not even gonna spray paint this right now because I'm afraid I'll get mad at it I'm gonna go put myself in timeout for a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and regroup and we're gonna we're gonna spray paint this again and we're gonna go ahead and get started so that's just the kind of day I'm having so I'm gonna go get a snack or something and we're gonna start all over again.
start by applying a super thin layer of epoxy on your cup and don't forget to blow out your micro bubbles with a torch. Okay, so we added a very thin layer of epoxy. We blew out our bubbles. I opted not to spray paint this other than the white base. I also opted not to freehand ombre. I decided to go ahead and do this epoxy method style, even though I'm somewhat sketchy on doing that. Um, I maybe am not the best ombre -er, uh, when it comes to epoxy method, but we're doing this very similar to like um, a Milky Way swirl. So I am good at those. So I think we'll be okay. Number three in our list of things to talk about. I changed out the purple. I love that dark, um, that dark indigo purple, but it was, I think, too dark. And back to the whole getting outside your comfort zone and stop using your favorite colors for everything. I switched it out for a different favorite color, different favorite purple, but I still don't know if it's gonna to be too dark, but we're gonna run with it and give it a shot. So what I'm gonna do is start doing my swirl and we're gonna go on from there. So now start your swirl. Um, you know, I picked a, a medium teal to start with. I didn't wanna start with the lightest color and move it to the darkest. I kinda of wanna start in the middle so that there was plenty of movement on the cup with the epoxy so that things could kind of start blending, if that makes sense. I am sprinkling my glitter very high up, very loose, very wide. I want an ombre effect, even though I know when it comes to epoxy method, I'm kind of not the greatest when it comes to absolutely smooth, perfect transitions. And since this is kind of like a Milky Way swirl, I'm used to relying on the Milky Way effect itself to cover up any imperfections, which obviously in this case, I'm not trying to do. So pick your colors. Like I said, I'm going and sprinkling, sprinkling them very high, very wide, very loose. Um, I always kind of think of like when you're sprinkling Parmesan cheese, for lack of a better analogy, if you will. Um, I'm not trying to go very heavy handed and I know that I'm probably going to need a second pass on some of these colors as the darker colors like Ravenclaw, etc. are sometimes problematic on a white base. How freaking pretty did this come out? Mm, I love this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin layer of epoxy. We're going to fill in, there's a couple little spots here where uh, it needs a little bit more glitter. And then I, I'm also going to um, just kind of sprinkle some, some chunky opal, just a little bit on here for just a little bit of extra, you know, oomph. But, um, but yeah, loving how this is coming out. Okay, so we have our little cup. I got a couple little spots sanded down. Um, I'm going to add, I'm going to layer out my, some of my decals. I don't want them all to be on the same plane. So I'm gonna go ahead, add a couple of these little leaves and some leopard spots around in black and in this really cool bluey green. I'm gonna run a run, I'm gonna run a coat of epoxy and then I'm gonna add more leaves on top. So that's what we're doing right now. I just grabbed some transfer tape, um, you know, firmly pressed down on your decals. And then I just kind of started going around and adding this blue color shift, you know, vinyl wherever I kind of thought I might want it. There's no rhyme or reason. And I also am trying to keep in mind, I need a pretty large open area to where I'm going to put the decal, the main decal. And then I also know I'm going to be adding black um, leaves and leopard spots around as well. So I don't want anything grouped together too dramatically. I want to be able to mix in those other elements um, when the time comes. So just kind of take your time and, you know, try to make a little bit of a plan before you start applying your vinyl and then just go and have fun with it. When you're happy with where your blue decals are, go ahead and apply a very thin layer of epoxy and don't forget to blow out your micro bubbles with a torch. Hey guys. Okay. So this is the little decal that we are adding. All right. I love her. I love her. Um, I found this little skelly mom on Etsy. She had, I think mom life written underneath of her and that wasn't really what we were going for today. So I, um, I just kind of, you know, changed and added some words around expensive, difficult, and talks back. That's pretty much my mood for today, to be honest, as I'm silently stalking a new fly trap. 
um, that I don't need to buy. Like I don't need, I have like 140 Venus flytraps. I do not need another one. Do I? Maybe? Yeah, probably. So this was my mood for today. Um, I have to be honest, the quantum physics that I feel goes into deciding how to add a decal or an image to a cup is like overwhelming some days. Um, do I do it on clear water slide? Do I do it on white water slide paper? Do I do a clear water slide backwards facing with white spray paint on the back? Do I do a clear water slide with white vinyl um, backing on the cup? Do I do printable vinyl in clear? Do I printable vinyl in, in white? Um, like around and around and around we go. This particular, now I did this to myself, like a full disclaimer, like I, I totally jacked, I don't want to say I jacked this up, but I made my life a little more harder than it needed to be. On this particular image, these words right here, that word right there, that's honestly the only thing holding me back from doing um, this as far as like white water side paper or a variation of such. Um, there's negative space involved here, and I want that negative space to show, to come across, and um yeah, I am not one of those girls that can sit there and do like water slide paper and put it through her cutter. Um, I, I'm just not. It, it, it'll mess up every single time. So I did this on clear water slide paper. I have a white, my favorite way of doing this in, in for something like this is going to be like a white vinyl backer on the cup. I think that it shows the colors better. I am all about the bright colors. We know that. So I really don't want this to look very muted. Um, I want this to, you know, bang out. I just don't want to do a white spray paint backer because again, we have all negative space on the words, but we also have all these little fun little, you know, accent dots and things. Um, and that's also why I don't want to use, you know, white water slide paper. So printable vinyl, printable vinyl, we're running into the same problem with as far as being cutting around the word and um, also a printable vinyl. Do I seal it? Don't I seal it? If I don't have to seal it, awesome. But then I'm trying to transfer it and now inevitably I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to try to transfer it. If I'm using transfer tape, even if it's like completely, you know, not um, uh, super, super sticky, it's still running the risk of pulling color up off the image. Like I said, it's like a whole thing for me. Maybe it's not this hard for everybody else, but for me, I got to go through the entire process and figure it all out. So I am going to spray this with spray sealer. Um, light coat of spray sealer, let it dry, and then I usually do a second one on top of it and also let that dry. And then we're going to go ahead and um, apply a white vinyl backer to the cup. We're going to go ahead and epoxy, and then we're going to add the decal on top of that. So that's where we are today. Good times. Now it's time to add the rest of the decals. So I am going to start with adding my white vinyl backer. That's going to be the white background for my clear water slide. I am going to weed out all of the negative space and I'm going to apply this to the cup very carefully as the water slide will show all, you know, mistakes and bumps and everything else. Keep in mind though, this particular decal has a lot of action to it, or I should say a lot of coverage. There's not a lot of you know, open spaces with this particular decal. So there's a little bit of forgiveness, but I normally will line up where I want that white backer, uh, you know, press very firm in the middle of that decal and then very firmly press in a straight line moving out in one direction. So I basically press very hard in a very, you know, straight line, the middle of the decal, and then using my finger press very firmly moving out in one direction and then follow suit in the opposite direction. That is going to help all of the air that may get trapped under that vinyl to be pushed out before the vinyl is adhered to the cup. Once I have that placed, I'm going to go ahead and take my black um, leaves and my leopard spots and just fill in all of the empty space. Once you have your decals all laid down where you want, go ahead and trim off anything that may be overhanging on the top or bottom edges. Make sure that all of your decals are firmly attached to your cup before sending this for another thin coat of epoxy. And also again, don't forget to blow out your micro bubbles. Once your epoxy is fully cured, now it's time to add your water slide. Go ahead and grab your water slide, trim your water slide very close to your design. You don't want any hard corners. You want to, you know, you don't want it right on the decal image. You want a little bit of breathing room, but you also don't want it with a whole lot of excess. 
So just go ahead and take your time, you know, kind of get as close to the, the letters as you can and the, the graphics without, you know, absolutely, um, you know, getting right up on them. Next is time to add your water slide. Go ahead and either with a paper towel or your hand or even just running it under the, um, the faucet, make sure you get your backer, your cup wet. Um, you also want to go ahead and take your water slide and run that under the faucet as well. You want that backing paper to be wet enough and saturated enough to where your water slide will very easily slide off of it. I normally use warm water. I don't care about it being overly cold, overly hot. I just try to make it as, you know, middle grade as you can. And then once that backer is slippery, slidey enough to be taken off of your decal, I normally just some people slide it off. I always find when I slide it off onto a cup, oftentimes I slide a little too hard and, you know, cause issues with the actual um, graphic. So I have a tendency to just pull it off of the backer, lay it down, and then using a wet paper towel, very lightly smooth out that image. Some people will use the little squeegees. Um, I can't tell you the damage I've done to water slides trying to master that. So this just works for me. I just use a regular wet paper towel and then I just kind of adjust that image as needed. Um, definitely want to be very gentle. You know, the more you mess with that decal, the more you're running the risk of there to be tears or imperfections. And you just really want to make sure you're getting all of the air and water out from underneath that decal. Um, you know, like I said, it's one of those things that sometimes it doesn't always work and you'll see, hopefully you noticed when I was cutting out the water slide that I had two on that page. I always find for myself, it's best practice to print more than one. Just in case things don't go as planned. Be sure to let your water slide fully dry. Damaged. I'm in Florida, so it doesn't take very long, and very make sure you're giving at least an hour, uh, if not all the way up to a full day. I then will mix up 30 mLs of epoxy. I add a little bit of diamond dust into my epoxy so everything is super sparkly and spangly. And then obviously with a gloved hand, I apply a very generous coat of epoxy um, to my cup, blowing out the micro bubbles with my torch when I am done. You know, it, there's leaves and lots of little things that can possibly boink up, if you will. So you know, if you need two runs of epoxy, definitely do that for full coverage. But this is pretty much all you need and, um, and you're done. Hey guys, what's up? <gasps> do we love her? I love her. I absolutely love this decal. Okay. So this is an easy cup. This really is. There's really not much to talk about. Um, you did see in the video, my struggle, my word, you know what? Um, for those of us who run our own businesses, especially, there are just days that it's, it's just hard. <laughs> it is. I run 2.5 businesses and, um, you know what? The last two weeks have just been my to-do lists aren't getting done. The things that should take me, you know, two days are taking two weeks. Um, you know, it's just, sometimes you just got to give yourself some grace. There's days you have to know when to push yourself through. And then there's days where you're just like, you know what? Um. I'm going to go back, grab me a bag of Cheetos. I'm going to go sit on my couch. I'm going to watch three seasons of SWAT back to back. I'm not going to talk to anybody. That's kind of where these last two weeks have gone. And that's why I also haven't posted in about two weeks. So for that, I am sorry. Um, this cup though, this cup though is very easy. So if you're having some kind of a mental breakdown, this is the cup to go for because this is really not going to give you much stress. The only thing is the decal. The decal I changed from what I originally bought and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do a little video, kind of show you how I changed it. It is going to be janky and we're not going to judge. We're going to be nice to our friend Heather here, aren't we? Um, we know me. Okay, by now, if you've seen more than one video, you know me. You know that I have had my silhouette for four years and I've watched 1.5 videos, you know, tutorials on how to use it, not even all the way through. Um, I know how to do what I need to do. All the extra bells and whistles, I don't know. I'll learn, maybe, maybe not, probably not, let's be honest. I do best just getting in and kind of start messing around. 
So when anybody looks at how I did this decal, do not yell at me and tell me how bad I did and how I did it all wrong, okay? Um, you goddesses that know everything about your design space, God bless you. You are my heroes. Um, you can just get in there and just bippity boppity boo around and, and call it good and, and do it all in four seconds. I'm not that good. So, um, but I do, I can do what I do. And if I need to do something, I can figure out how to do that. So that's pretty much how we did this decal. So I'm going to try to do a little video for you. Um, we'll see if it works. I'll like load it after this little tips and tricks section. So we'll see. Um, couple things. Number one, and I'm saying this not because we're going to have like some long drawn out, um, conversation about this, but you know, like I said, I, I work a lot, a lot, a lot. And I know so many of you do the same, um, you know, 40 hour work weeks sitting in a cubicle somewhere and then 40 hours trying to do tumblers or, you know, this or that, or whatever your side hustle is on top of also, you know, family and house and animals and God bless you guys with kids. And you know what I mean? So like, there's always a lot, you know, you've got, the stress of running a business, you've got economic stress, you've got family stress, health stress, you know, so it's just one of those things like when you get to that point that I was at the beginning of this video where like literally nothing is working, um, sometimes you just got to step away for a couple days. And so let yourself do that. Like, don't judge yourself harsh for doing that. There's days where you got to push yourself and be like, Psh, come on, let's do this. And then there's days where you just got to, you just need to chill back and, um, and recharge and that's okay. So that being said, um, the only other thing I want to talk about is the vinyl, adding the decal. Um, before anybody asks why I put the white vinyl backer on the cup and then I epoxied before I added the water slide. Water slides, um, you know, there's a 50-50 shot on whether or not they're going to play nice with me. Sometimes, most of the time they do fine. Most of the time they're not an issue. Um, but then there are times where like they can be a little problematic if I'm using a white vinyl backer and if it's a, if it's a design that has a lot of negative space. Okay. So you got to figure you're adding a vinyl, you know, you're adding a white vinyl backer and then you're adding a water slide on top. If there's a lot of negative space, a lot of things that you've had to weed out that, that water slide, there's a lot of opportunity for water and air to get trapped underneath in those little, those little carve outs. So if I know I'm going to do something that has any negative space, okay, like my words here, I'm going to go ahead and run a coat of epoxy on top of it. And that way it's like a level playing field when I add that water slide. So maybe not everybody does that. It works for me. I've learned myself, um, you know, the hard way that if, like I said, there's a lot of, of pieces to that vinyl that need to get weeded out that it can become problematic, or at least it has for me. Now, could I have done just like um, a white spray paint, you know, do this inverted and do a white spray paint uh, backer on this? I could have. I mean, honestly, but I wanted the the words, the negative space in the words to um, to come through. And if I didn't do that, then I probably would have just just done that, inverted out the the design and done a, a light white spray paint by, um, backer and then just, you know, cut it out. But I wanted, I wanted this for what it is. So I'm happy with the decision I made to do that. That's really the only thing to talk about, to be honest, the decal. Um, you know, why are there leaves on this cup? I have no idea. I mean, you saw me, my, my the mindset wasn't there. The decision tree was not fully being utilized. But that being said, I do love how it came out. Um, you know, Monstera cups were so popular a couple years ago and I absolutely love them. And so that's probably where I was going with this. Plus in the beginning we were doing a beach tumbler. So tropical leaves, I don't know. We're going to all be nice to me on this video because I know it's all pieced together and it's not the greatest video. I don't feel like that it is, but, um, but the cup is beautiful. So let's just, let's just give me a pass this week. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, don't forget to check out the community tab on the Wicked Whiskey Design YouTube channel page. That's where I have kind of my little fake Amazon store. So anything that um, that I use on these cups that come through Amazon, that's kind of where I have those links. They're affiliate links. So if you purchase anything, I make like 20 cents. But um, 
actually, I don't even think I make 20 cents, but it's just a place for me to have all those Amazon products, you know, in one spot. I get asked all the time, like, where did you get your glitter shelves? You know, your little electric mixer you use for your epoxy, because Lord knows I cannot mix epoxy forth anything, you know, stuff like that. That's where all of, all of those links are for those products. Um, I'm going to go ahead, see if I can go ahead and do you up a decal video real quick again. Be nice. I've had a hard week, um, and but hopefully that way you can kind of see how I how I changed it up a bit. And you know, other than that, um, you know, next week's a whole brand new week, and it's going to be amazing. We're going to do great things. I promise you. So um, I will see you guys then, and you guys have a great week. Bye. Um. All right. Okay. So the first thing I did was bring in my file. Sorry, my computer, this computer runs so slow. And let's make it a little more manageable size wise. All right, so this is the original file. What I did is, um, oops. I basically just broke the pattern took that part out now it to me I wanted her going in the opposite direction so I went ahead highlighted everything oops shit didn't mean to do that flipped her horizontally okay now I duplicated her we're going to have her sit off over here for a minute. Um, I knew that I, I didn't know exactly what fonts I wanted to use. Um, I used, what did I use? Hues. This is not easy to do around a camera. Um, what did I use for the other one? That didn't work. Um, what was the other one? I don't remember what the other font was I used. Maybe it was the same one. We're going to say it was that. Okay. So I knew, let's make these colors to begin with. Okay, so then I knew I wanted, um, I knew I wanted a white background on the words, so I did an offset. I boosted that to about 60, 65. I changed the color of that to white. And then I pulled, whoops, that's fine. And then what I did is I offset that outline still kept it about 65 and then pulled that off keep that over here on its own change that color to anything weird um same thing all right hit weld all right hit offset it's still at a, a pretty big 65 there which is fine change that the offset to white hit group oops it's not going to let me hit group. Okay. And I think I put it right about there. Um, and same thing. Go ahead and hit offset on this one. Change your colors. Oops, hold on. Hit weld.
hit offset, change your colors. Okay, now, my thing was this, okay? First of all, I'm adding this down here. And initially my thought was like, that's fine. Like I don't need to have color underneath it. But then I was like, eh, let's see if we can make color. Let's, let's see if we can go do that anyway. So um, what I did is the reason why I duplicated this one is I went ahead and took my little eraser. Do not ask me why it does that. You kind of have to, sometimes it will stay <laughs> and sometimes the picture doesn't. Okay. Get rid of her now. So I have this. Pivot and then flip it horizontally. Okay, because you got peach over here, peach over here. It has this um, red outline change that to clear okay and then I duplicated this so that I have two because I want it to come down a little bit and I tried the whole thing where I had one and I stretched it and it just didn't work um, send this to back kind of fits in like that send to back I'll line up however you want yeah, I did stretch this one out just a little bit. And then I weld. Oops, did that work? No, it didn't. Hold on. I just have to kind of play around with this a little bit. I think that works. Because honestly, all this is going to do is sit on top. So it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to kind of, you know, any, any of those little lines or whatever, they're going to get covered. And honestly, it's really not that big of a deal. So we've got that one, got this one. Keep this one off to the side. Group that, okay. Take this one, bring it to the front, line it where you want it to go. Now remember, this is the offset of the offset, all right? This is what's gonna give you your negative space. Highlight it all, come over to this little area right here. Hit subtract, oops. to the front. There you go. And it takes off all that little, all the, the space there. Bring your thing back up where you want it. Oops, go back over. No, no, no. Weld that together. Oops, don't weld that together. Group that together. And now slide that in where you want it, right there. Highlight everything, hit group, and there you go. As you can see, I have to kind of stumble around a little bit to get where I want it to be, but um, but that's basically how I did that. And then I just went ahead and um, saved that and uh, printed it out on clear water slide paper, and there you have it. So. Again, I hope some of that makes sense. If you have any questions, just let me know.